Welcome to the show. It may not feel like it, but it's spring, and that means rubber baseball. Today we have senior Seth Sturgeon with the baseball team on the show to talk about the 2013 Drovers. This is in the saddle. Welcome to the show. Today we have senior pitcher Seth Sturgeon with the USAO baseball team here to talk about the 2013 season. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to be here. So off to a really great season. We already have 27 wins and we've played two of the toughest teams in the nation already um, in the middle of conference play. So talk about the season. Well, you know, we got off to a really good start. You know, uh, won the games we needed to in non-conference. Went into conference with uh, a bunch of wins under our belt, you know, a bunch of games under our belt. and. Um, you know, started off conference really good against Wayland, got that sweep, and then uh, really uh, got our medal tested when we went to Lubbock. You know, it's always a tough place to play, but went in there and got two from them, so that was really good. Came back against Oklahoma City, and, you know, it didn't come out the way we wanted, but, uh, you know, we played them, played them tough all four games, and, um, you know, just that's baseball sometimes. You know, you can go out and play really well, and uh, it's just not on the cards that day. So what's clicking for the team this year? Well, you know, we've... We've got a bunch of seniors. We've got a bunch of guys that have uh, been around the game a long time, been around Coach Ross for a couple years now, and uh, we know what he wants, we know what he expects, and you know, when you're around the game that long, you know how to play it the right way, and you know, uh, you know what it takes to win a game. So we're just 10 wins away from uh, tying the school record for most wins, um, and uh, like 20 games left. So is that a goal you guys have, or? I mean, it's, it's definitely something that we've talked about, but uh, it's, it's not our, uh, our first goal. You know, our first goal was some Coach Ross presented uh, presented to us. You know, last year we had a pretty good team, but uh, fell short of those expectations. But um, this year, you know, we came out, we got the wins we needed to, and our goal right now is really just to make it to the national tournament. You know, if we can make it to that, then we probably will have secured that goal of most wins in mm -hmm. school history. So really, national tournament's the only thing on our minds right now. Okay. Well, you're one of our starting pitchers. You've been here two years. Um, you have five wins already on the season and uh, pitching pretty good so what led you to that position what, what do you like about it well you know it it, it was just something I, I dabbled in in high school you know I played it here and there you know whenever they needed an extra arm didn't really start focusing on it until my senior year and then um, you know got to JUCO and they figured out I couldn't hit so you know they really put me on the mound and you know I started working there and I had a couple had a good had a decent year my freshman year had a really bad year my sophomore year but uh, Coach Ross took a chance on me and switched basically everything that I did <laughs> pitching-wise. And, um, you know, so far so good. So I've, I've liked it. Well, good. On the field, obviously, one of our, one of our better players. And, and off the field, you've also set a really great example. Um, you were just named a Bill and Pat Smith Scholar Athlete, which is given to just one male and one female athlete at USAO each year. So what's it like to, to win an award like that? Well, you know, it's just um, I'm blessed, blessed by God, blessed with the family that I was able to grow up in. You know, mom instilled these kind of goals in me when I was young. You know, grades come first, you know, and then the academic or the athletic stuff comes second. Because, um, I mean, I've got two, three more weeks, hopefully longer than that, of baseball <laughs> left. And then, you know, it's got to be the stuff I learned in school that's going to carry me throughout the rest of my life. So, um, you know, it's always been a, a goal of mine is to make good grades on top of, you know, performing on the field. But uh I feel like both kind of translate uh, into, into one another. You know, if you do well in school, you have the confidence, you know, you can go out and do well on the field. You do well on the field and you work hard on the field and you have that same work ethic in the classroom. Well, that's great and congratulations for that award. It's very uh, prestigious here on campus. Appreciate that. This is your second year at USAO. Um, you came here from Northern Oklahoma College. So what, what led you to USAO? What brought you here? Well, basically Coach Ross taking a big chance on me. Um, my sophomore year at NOC Tonkwai, I, I didn't perform well. 
you know, I just, I, I don't know if it was mentality, mechanics, what it was. Sophomore but, uh, slump. Just it, basically, it was, it was a bad sophomore <laughs> slump. But, uh, I mean, Coach Ross came and saw me pitch a couple times, didn't do very well. But, uh, you know, he took a chance on me. That first fall I was here, rehauled everything in my mechanics. You know, it was, it was a pretty brutal fall. But uh, about beginning of March of last, last season, um, it all kind of started to come together and uh, started, I guess, figuring it out. And, um, you know, it's been, been going pretty well since then. Well, good. Um, so you're graduating in April with a degree in sociology. Congratulations on that. Okay. What do you plan on doing after graduation? Well, I'll be graduating, like you said, in April and hopefully applying for the Colorado State Patrol in, um, in June. I'll be getting married in July. And then hopefully that interview process with the State Patrol will start um, in August. So these next few months after I graduate are going to be a whirlwind. So I'm really just trying to enjoy these last month or so of baseball and where I don't really have any worries or anything like that. You know, it's just finishing school, playing ball, hanging out with the guys. You're just going to jump head first into adulthood, huh? Yeah, I got to grow up all of it at quick. the same time. Uh, hopefully my fiance is ready to deal with me because I don't know if I'm a big boy yet. I'm sure you can handle it. And congratulations and good luck in the future. And Thank you. For the rest of the season. Thank you. Now it's time for Fan of the Week. Each week we pick our Fan of the Week who wins an awesome t-shirt and is recognized on our show and on our USAO Drovers Facebook page. To become Fan of the Week, just like our In the Saddle link on Facebook to enter to win. Last week's Fan of the Week was Nicole Thomas. Again, congratulations to you. And this week's Fans of the Week are Floyd and Wendy Christian Samilton. Congratulations. Well, that's our show. Make sure to keep up to date with schedules and results on usao.edu sports, and we'll see you next time on In the Saddle. Yeah.